How many apples will you eat in the next month? It's a strange question, but just one of many I faced before setting out on my path to explore the Arctic. My name is Gergana Toskowova. I grew up in rural Bulgaria, where unlike many scientists, I wasn't glued to nature shows. We had just one extension cord, and every morning my grandparents would move it from the TV to the washing machine, leaving me with the great outdoors for entertainment. I remember a really strong sense of freedom. I would run to my grandpa with a long list of goals, and he'd never say no. He gave me the power to believe that I can do anything. Most people in my village rarely travel far from the neighboring villages. With my National Geographic Society grant, I traveled to the Arctic to explore its changing biodiversity. Changes in the Arctic matter for the whole planet. They give us a preview of what's to come for the rest of the world. I saw for myself that the ice there is melting rapidly. But I also discovered that the tundra is more diverse than you might think. We found over a hundred different plant species at the two field sites we studied. If some of those plants can survive in increasingly warmer climates, those plants can become the foundation of future Arctic ecosystems. I'm now returning to Bulgaria to continue my work 10 years after my grandpa passed away. He didn't get to see me graduate or go to university or go to places like the Arctic. But his silent belief that I could do anything remains my motivation to face challenges and chase big dreams. Anyone can become an explorer. You don't even have to leave home. In the Arctic, as in my grandparents' house, when something gets broken, we would fix it ourselves. If we can try to consume more mindfully and dispose of things less readily, we can work towards a more sustainable future. We can't always fix everything, but it's definitely worth a try. So, about those apples. I think the answer is to take only what you need, to live lightly on the planet. <laughs>